हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर ऑल वेल एंड गुड ओके लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू कंटेंट थर्मल फिजिक्स नो फ्रॉम दैट व्हाट वी हैव सीन वी हैव वी वी कैन सी द टेंपरेचर दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड टेंपरेचर हॉटनेस ऑफ द डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस ऑफ द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड टेंपरेचर देन वी कैन सी ऑब्जर्व इट स्केल दैट इज केल्विन स्केल ऑफ टेंपरेचर एंड वी सी thermal equilibrium and we saw that uh, thermal energy heating cooling and what is called calorie and kilo calorie so so many contents we have seen isn't it so next we are going to see expansion of substances this also we have seen already once again we will start to to recall the content okay so what is called expansion of substances when heat energy is supplied to any object that can be increase in the expansion of the object due to heating okay so that is called expansion of substances okay so this change in dimension due to rise in temperature of called thermal expansion of the object so then all forms of matter that is solid liquid and gas it undergoes on expansion due to heating okay first we will see expansion in solid how the solid of object it get expanded during heating when solid it is this heater the atoms it gain the energy and vibrate more vigorously then after it results in expansion okay so here given change in temperature the solid expansion is smaller than the liquid and gas so compared to the liquid and gas solid it has only little uh, expansion will be occur okay compared to liquid and the gas so the in expansion in solid there are three different types of expansion will be occur one is linear or longitudinal expansion superficial or aerial expansion and cubical or volumetric expansion okay we will see one by one first we will see linear or longitudinal expansion so first we will see linear expansion what is called linear expansion increase in length of any solid object while heating that is called linear expansion see the differences between the two picture the second rod is expanded due to heating in that itself you can notice and you can you may be understand so increase in length of any solid object while heating that is called linear expansion so how we can derive in the equation form in the equation form the equation it relating to the change in length and the change in temperature of the body then how can we return delta l by l not which l not is the initial length that is the original length delta l is the change in length that is the final length okay next is equal to coefficient of what change in temperature coefficient of change in temperature coefficient of linear expansion into change in temperature so that is the coefficient symbol into change in temperature that is delta t final temperature minus initial temperature understand again i will repeat so if the increase in length of any solid object while heating that is called linear or longitudinal expansion in the equation form we can return it as delta l by l not equal to coefficient of linear expansion into change in temperature understand students now we can see the experiment for linear expansion of solid see this picture and observe it carefully see here metallic rod is placed in the center position rest on two supports isn't it one of them is placing be, being a roller and another end of the rod is fixed to the support rigid support so what happen now the expansion of the rod beyond that support is 
restricted the other end of the rod is kept in contact with the pointer of a calibrated scale now when the rod is it is heated the pointer it moves forward it moves over the calibrated scale to show the linear expansion of the rod like this linear expansion will be occur once again i repeat so a metallic rod is placed in the length l that is rest on two supports one of them being a roller another end may be me a rigid support so the expansion of the rod beyond that support will be restricted now the other end of the rod is kept in contact with the pointer of calibrated scale is placed there see when the rod it will now heated the pointer it moves forward over the calibrated scale to show the linear expansion of the end like that the expansion will be occur in a linear form that is called linear expansion then the second type is superficial expansion so what is called superficial expansion so if there is any increase in the area of the solid object while heating then the expansion is said to be superficial or aerial expansion if the heating is given applied to the given solid object there is an increase in the area of the solid then it is called as superficial or aerial expansion understand then in the coefficient manner how we can define coefficient means particularly it is a factor that measures a particular property that is called coefficient in coefficient manner we can say it as the ratio of increase in area of the body per degree rise in temperature to its unit area that is called coefficient of superficial expansion then the si unit of coefficient of superficial expansion is noted as kelvin power minus 1 okay then how the equation will be uh, applied the equation relating to the change in area and change in temperature isn't it so how can we write delta a minus a not a not which is the original area delta a is the change in area that is the final area okay is equal to the coefficient of superficial expansion that is uh, that uh, symbol belongs to coefficient next into delta t that is change in temperature which is the final temperature understand so once again i repeat the equation form is change in area divided by original area is equal to coefficient of superficial expansion into change in temperature so this is the equation for superficial expansion once again i i will recall so what is called superficial expansion means if there is any increase in the area of solid object due to heating that is called superficial or aerial expansion next we will see the cubical expansion cubical expansion means if there is any change any if there is any increase in the volume of the solid object while heating then the expansion is said to be cubical or volumetric expansion once again i repeat if there is any increase in the volume of the solid object while heating due to the expand then the expansion is called cubical or volumetric expansion so in the coefficient manner we can define it as the ratio of increase in volume of the body per degree rise in temperature to its unit volume that is called coefficient of cubical expansion then how can we write it in equation form so change in volume by original volume is equal to coefficient of cubical expansion into change in temperature this is the equation form for cubical expansion delta v minus v not equal to coefficient of volume into change in temperature understand so the si unit of cubical expansion is same as kelvin power minus 1 so that is the cubical expansion 
if there is any increase in the volume of solid object due to heating that is called cubical or volumetric expansion okay okay once again students we can recall the three types of expansion first one is linear expansion second one is area expansion that is what a superficial expansion third one is cubical or volumetric expansion so what is called linear expansion in the picture itself you can notice and say so what what happens increase in length of the body while heating isn't it that is called linear expansion what is called area expansion if there is an increase in area of the solid object due to heating that is called aerial expansion then what is called volumetric expansion if there is increase in the volume of the solid object while heating that is called volumetric or cubical expansion understand so these are the three different types of expansion in solid object so next we will see the expansion in liquid and gases so when uh, liquid or gas any substance any forms of matter will be heated atoms in a liquid or gas it gains more energy and forces to further apart that is it forces pushes to further reactions here expansion it varies substance to substance it here in liquid and gas the expansion will be varies substance to substance the liquid will have more extent of expansion in a given rising temperature than solid you know already solid is very small gets small solid it gets very smaller expansion than compared to liquid and gas isn't it here the liquid it has more extent of expansion in a particular rise of temperature than solid then gas yes it has the highest extent of expansion compared to other two that is solid and liquid gas yes it has the highest extent of expansion while heating okay next when liquid it is heated place the liquid in some container okay you can some you can place the liquid in some container and supply heat energy to that to liquid through the container okay you have to pour some liquid in a container and give and give some heat energy to that liquid through the container what happen the thermal energy supplied will be partly used by the container and partly used in the expanding of the liquid understand once again i repeat the thermal energy supplied will be partly used by the container and partly used in the expanding the liquid okay so what we have observed in the reaction we may not be concluded that what is real or actual expansion of the liquid isn't it so far we have we are going to discuss liquid we can define in two ways that is real expansion and a apparent expansion next we will see real expansion what is called real expansion when liquid is heated directly without using any container so that is called real expansion so how we can define in coefficient of real expansion what is called coefficient coefficient means it is a factor that measures the particular property that is called coefficient so what is called coefficient of real expansion so the ratio of true rise in volume of liquid per degree rise in temperature that is called coefficient of real expansion and then the si unit is kelvin power minus 1 minus 1 then move on to
volume that is called coefficient of apparent expansion then its SI unit is carrying power minus 1 once again it will be called so real expansion means the liquid is heated directly without using any container here the SI unit of coefficient of real expansion is carrying power minus 1 in apparent expansion we can heat any kind of liquid by pouring it in the pouring it in the container. Okay. Here, when apparent expansion, the expansion of liquid should be observed. We should not consider the expansion of the container. Then, what is the coefficient of apparent expansion? Ratio of apparent rise in volume of the liquid per degree rise in temperature to its unit volume. Okay, here, here also the SI unit is Kelvin power minus 1. Okay. Okay, next we will see the experiment to measure real and apparent expansion of liquid. So, here is the container given with the liquid. So, to start with, the liquid whose real and apparent expansion is to be determined is that is poured in a container up to the level mark. So, you mark this level as L1. So, you first mark the level as L1. Now, heat the container well. And the liquid using the burner which is shown in the figure. In the figure you can notice. Initially, what happened? The container, it receives the thermal energy. Heat energy. That is heat energy. And it expands. Isn't it? As a result, what happened? The volume of the liquid it appears to have reduced. So, mark this reduced level of liquid as L2. Understand? So, next on further heating, the thermal energy is supplied to the liquid through the container. Isn't it? After that only, on further heating only, the heat energy is supplied to the liquid through the container, which results in the expansion of the liquid. So, this level of liquid, at the level of liquid, you can mark it as L3. Okay. So, now see the difference between the levels L1 and L3. That is called apparent expansion. And the difference between the levels L2 and L3, that is called real expansion. Okay. So, the real expansion is always more than that of the apparent expansion. So, how can we define as real expansion equal to L3 minus L2, apparent expansion equal to L3 minus L1. So, these are the experiment to measure the real and apparent expansions of the liquid. Once again, I will recall to start with the liquid whose real and apparent expansion is to be determined should be poured in a colored in a container up to the level mark. So, that mark should be written as L1, that is level 1. After heating the container, using a burner, the container it receives the thermal energy and it expands. No. So, that you can mark it as what? The volume of the liquid, it appears to be reduced. So, you can mark it as L2, that is level 2. And further, you can heat the container, the thermal energy is supplied to the liquid through the container, isn't it? So, the this you can mark it as L3. Okay, now the difference between the levels which is L1 and L3 is called apparent expansion and the difference between the levels L2 and L3 is called real expansion. So, the real expansion is always more than that of the apparent expansion. So, up to that, what are the topics we have seen in this lesson? We have seen temperature, what is called temperature, what is called Kelvin scale of temperature, thermal equilibrium, thermal energy and expansion of substances. In solid, we have seen linear expansion, superficial expansion and a cubical expansion. And we have seen expansion in liquid and gases for water, real and apparent expansion we have seen. Next, 
last we will we have seen the experiment to measure real and apparent expansion of the liquid so go through this contents very well and complete all the assignments which we have sent in the whatsapp group okay thank you students